Oh god, here we go. This tutorial is designed for iPhone 4S A1387 on iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6. Other devices on other iOS versions may work, but probably not, so just make sure your device is compatible. For this tutorial, we're going to use a program known as Phoenix, which is in the form of an IPA, which means we're going to need to sideload it. For which, we'll use this, Sideloadly, which uses magic and your app ID to sign applications to work on iOS. It's my personal recommendation, and theirs, that you make yourself a burner Apple ID. I'm sure you don't want the Catboy Mafia to steal your credit card and buy catnap to smuggle, but it's up to you. As you can see, I'm setting a perfect example of what not to do. So once you put in your info, double check and ensure your device is unlocked. Then click the button and it should install into the iPhone. Now, because Apple, we're going to need to trust it. Let's go to Settings, General, Device Management, then touch the one that says your Apple ID, then click Trust. And now, we should be able to activate the jailbreak. Here's where things get a little bit dicey. Whether it be poor app design or working within the confines of the API itself, you're going to need to be careful. So don't turn off this video yet, please. Click Prepare for Jailbreak. Don't bother reading, just click Agree. Next. Uh, you'll be asked if you'd like to view their mixtape. Um, I'm gonna just go on with the jailbreak. Now, this is where things get interesting. Don't click anything, don't switch screen, and don't let it go to sleep. Let it stay on the screen for 30 seconds or more. If you don't, this'll happen. As far as I know, it doesn't hurt anything, but it's kind of scary and very inconvenient. So you'll need to reboot and run the jailbreak again at best, and reflash at worst. So after 30 seconds, Click Use Provided Offsets. Then it'll complain about storage, but before you can read it, it'll crash and restart, like it's supposed to. Now you're officially jailbroken. And you can move on to getting into KDFU mode to downgrade, tutorial on that soon. Which on this device, on the software version, is the only thing you should be doing. Not king shaming though. So if you'd like to continue beating your iPhone in submission, when and if your device reboots, you'll need to kickstart the jailbreak, which can be done in the Phoenix app. But other than that, you're basically done. I hope this video helped you, and thank you so much for watching. See ya!